So this morning we got a brand new data download on Global and there is a lot of exciting stuff for us to talk about. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and check everything out. Now, first things first, I do want to give a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets as always. Make sure to hit him up with a follow if you guys aren't already doing so. And now we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this page here. The first thing we'll take a look at is this new Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day sticker, which is coming for the Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day celebration that's starting in approximately two days from now. And if this sticker is like the ones we got in the past, then you should be able to apply it to any Gohan, Goku, and Goten unit in the game. I'm not sure how many we'll be able to get, but I'm assuming at least a couple uh, throughout the celebration. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then from there, we have a brand new special event called Great Feast Goku's Food Battle Special Event. And there's going to be a new uh, support item, the Paozusaurus' Tail. And we'll talk about what this does uh, later on in the video. But here's a quick look at the stage, the map. So that's a new event that's coming. And then we have another new event that I'm sure a lot of people are very much looking forward to. The GT edition of Fighting Legend Goku, or uh, you know, the GT Legendary Goku event. So here's a quick look at the map. And then we also have tickets for the updated GT edition banner. Well, I'm assuming it's not going to be just GT edition, but hopefully they add some you know, better featured Gokus, as well as you know, more of the LR Gokus in the game, like LR UI Goku, uh, LR Godku, um, I feel like there's one more I'm forgetting right now. Obviously, Super Saiyan 3 Goku will be in there as well. And what's the other LR Goku? Oh, uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Hopefully, they're all in there. That might be just wishful thinking, but we'll see. There will be a new banner with uh, new tickets, as you can see. So, oh, by the way, that's dropping in less than 24 hours from now. And uh, we also know the you know full list of enemies, so take a look at that later on in the video too. But uh, from there, we have some new sticker masks for the Int Easy A Kid Broly, and also the, also the AGL Easy A Kid Vegeta and Kid Raditz. I actually didn't know that these units didn't have sticker masks in the past, but now they do. So there you go. And we also have some sticker masks. For AGL Kid Trunks, Great Saiyan Man, STR Graphic Gohan and GT Pan, and also the Int Hiru, because all three of these units are getting Extreme Z Awakenings. So there you go, guys. We got the sticker masks, and we also apparently have some changes to the Int UI Goku's sticker mask as well. Um, I'm not really sure what changes were. Oh, I guess there's more like of these uh, spikes here in the art. But yeah, just some minor changes to his sticker mask, maybe in preparation for his uh, release in the near future for the anniversary. And then we have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for Int Hiru, Rainbow, Gold, Silver, and Bronze. We have the Extreme Z Awakening medal for STR LRB Pan from her Extreme Z area. So uh, yeah, just in case you missed it, B Pan, Easy A, also coming. So it's going to be B Pan, uh, Grandpa Gohan, and. Uh, GT Pan, uh, Kid Saiyan Man, and also Giru all getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And then we have the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals for Grandpa Gohan and Pan, and uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals for Kid Saiyan Man. And what else do we have here? Um, some new stages. Okay, so two of them are for the Extreme Z Area special character, and I'm assuming that would be for Grandpa Gohan. And. Uh, Get Saiyan Man, and then there's going to be the B-Pan Extreme Z area, and also the GT Extreme Z area, which is for uh, the Giru. So here are a quick, here is a quick look at uh, these maps. Obviously, this one is very obvious. This one's going to be for B-Pan, but uh, otherwise, um, I think this one's for Giru, and then these two are for the other two uh, Free to Play Extreme Z Awakenings. And that's pretty much it, guys. In terms of assets, that's everything we got. A quick breakdown. Uh, Dokkan Battle Global data download for May 7th, 2021. Extreme Z Area Stages. Fighting Legend Goku GT Edition. 
challenge event, great feast, Goku's food battle, special event, and Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day sticker. Okay, so if you guys came just for the assets, then there you have it. But if you want to see some details about the upcoming GT Legendary Goku event, as well as the um, Great Feast, Goku's Food Battle, and also all the details for the upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings, then make sure to keep watching. And now let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki. And this is for the uh, Fighting Legend Goku GT Edition. There's no official, like... I guess art here, but actually I think I saw one, but I guess they didn't update it yet. But uh, yeah, this is for the new GT uh, Fighting Legend Goku. These are the seven enemies we're going to be facing. Stage one is going to be base Goku. Stage two is going to be Super Saiyan Goku. Stage three, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Stage four, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Stage five, Golden Giant Ape. Stage six, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then stage seven is going to be Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. I don't know why they just didn't call him Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like, I know that's the real name. I know that's the official name. It's just dumb to me. Anyways, um, Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. And uh, for the missions here, obviously you get some tickets as well as stones for going through all seven stages. Uh, for stage one, you get two stones. For stage two or phase two, you get two tickets. Phase three, three, tic uh, three stones. Phase 4, 3 tickets. Phase 5, 4 stones. And phase 6, 4 tickets. And phase 7, for beating the super full power saiyan for Goku. Get 5 stones and 5 tickets. And there's also some uh, category missions as well. Just like the original Legendary Goku event, you get some extra rewards for beating the event with specific um, you know, categories, right? So... The first one is Representatives of Universe 7. Second one is Battle of Wits. Third one is Power Absorption. And then we have Giant 8 Power, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, Connected Hope, and Corroded Body and Mind. So those are the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, categories, seven missions. I'm sure there will be more in the future. And for each one, you get five extra stones as well as five tickets for the uh, brand new banner. And there you have it guys, those are all the details we have about this event currently. Um, I'm not really sure how hard it's going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be quite a bit harder than the current Legendary Goku event, which is, which is obviously a good thing, because, you know, we all want that challenge, right? And, well, at least most people do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm probably going to be doing a stream as soon as the event drops, because I'm super, super stoked for it. So look forward to that. Um, you know to that stream in once again less than 24 hours I think probably like 15 hours or so from now and uh, we'll try to run through it with as many of these categories as we possibly can it might be kind of rough for a few of these but we'll try our best we'll try our best so there you have it and then we're gonna move on to the uh, other event the Great Feast Goku's Battle and this is just one stage, and in terms of the info, we don't have much info about it, but we do have the missions here. And, uh, you know, there's some missions for getting these new Pazusaurus tail items, and also some uh, missions for some meats, a uh, small, medium, and a large meat, which is uh, obviously nice for some free stamina. But in terms of the new item, it's actually really good, in my opinion. So, when you uh, use this item, you recover 2% HP per key sphere obtained, and all allies attack plus 30% for two turns. Now, this effect alone is uh, already really solid, in my opinion, right? All allies attack plus 30% for two turns. That's very good. But on top of that, you get 2% HP per key sphere obtained. So if you get like 10 key spheres, that's 20% healing. And you also get extra healing from like same type orbs too, right? So. Um, yeah, just a very solid support item. I'm sure it's going to be useful for, like, Super Bad Road, for example, for people that want to be a little bit more offensive. Um, so yeah, that's a new support item. That's a new event. Just seems to be, uh, it seems to be one of those, like, daily events you can do, like, once every single day. And, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, after that, we're going to check out the new, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings. Or the four free to play units. If you guys don't know what they do, then definitely don't you know leave the video yet. Um, oh, by the way, four 
the schedule here, as you can see, the GT Legendary Goku event, as well as the Meat Battle, or Great Feast Goku's Food Battle, my bad, is coming in about 16 hours from the time this video drops. And then we have the Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z Awakenings in about 5 to 6 days. And then Giru is dropping on um, the 20th in about 12 days. And so is the Extreme Z Awakenings for Grandpa Gohan and uh, Kid Saiyan Man. And then we have the B Pad Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z Area in about 16 days from now. So they're not all coming at the same time. They are kind of uh, staggered with the. Uh, you know, LGE and also the Great Feast event coming first and then the Super Saiyan 4s and so on and so forth, okay? So from there, let's see what this Kid Saiyan Man does. So uh, as always, what I like to do with these, you know, ECAs is do a comparison between the pre-ECA details and the post-ECA details. So starting with his pre-ECA, his leader skill is Youth Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises defense, and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack plus 7% up to 70%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 49%. With each attack performed, launches an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained, and launches an additional attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained, recovers HP with candy. Now, after the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill becomes Youth Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 77%, or AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack, HP attack and Defense Plus 50%. Super Attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. And passive is Attack and Defense Plus 90%, plus an additional Attack Plus 7% up to 77%, and Chance of Performing a Critical Hit Plus 7% up to 49%, with each attack performed. Launches an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained, launches another attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained, and all attacks become critical hits with 7 or more key spheres obtained, recovers HP with candy. So yeah, really solid Extreme Z Awakening. Um, this kid obviously is great for longer events where you can stack some defense. And uh, now he has a slightly better leader skill, obviously still not super usable, but better for sure. And on his passive, he gets uh, some more attack and defense. He also gets that uh, all you know attacks become crits with seven or more key spheres, which is not going to be super common. But uh, if you have like an orb changer with him, then he should be able to do some uh, at least solid damage, I would say. But that is the great Saiyan Man kid. And now we're going to move on to the Goku Gohan. Or sorry, uh, <laughs> the Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan. So before their Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill was Kamehameha Category K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and passive was Attack plus 80% when performing a Super Attack, and great chance of an additional Attack plus 80%, and defense, with, uh, and defense plus 20% with each Super Attack performed up to 80%. E plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking on the same turn, recovers HP with candy. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill is Kamehameha category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, uh, STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack plus 100%, when performing a super attack, and great chance of an additional attack plus 100%. Defense plus 50% with each attack performed up to 100%. And then key plus 3 plus an additional 50% attack and defense when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn, recovers HP with candy. So basically, uh, all their you know buffs just get an additional boost um, on the passive, and then a slightly better leader skill. And also raising attack and defense instead of just uh, raising attack for the super attack. Or sorry, raising defense before, now it's attack and defense. And uh, that is the Grandpa Gohan and Pan. And next we have the B Pan. Oh, did I forget to uh, open the Giru? Hold on. Uh, here we go. Giru, Grand Tour Companion. Alright, so let's talk about Giru before we get to the main event, which is of course the B Pan. So for Giru, 
Currently, his leader skill is all types, or sorry, int types, Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 40%, uh, super attack, supreme damage, and seal super attack, and passive is Q plus 2, and attack and defense plus 60% when there is a hybrid Saiyans category ally on the team. Dragon Ball Seekers category allies, Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. Post Extreme Z Awakening, Dragon Ball Seekers Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for 1 turn and causes Supreme Damage, and seals the Super Attack, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 70%, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 70%, and High Chance of evading enemies attacks, including Super Attacks, when there is a Hybrid Saiyans Category Ally on the team. And then Dragon Ball Seekers category allies keep plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40%. So big boost to the support here. Big boost to the um, you know buff for having hybrid Saiyans on the team. And also a little bit more attack and defense here to start as well. 70% instead of 60%. And uh, what else do we have? Um, raising attack and defense when he didn't do that in the past. And uh, better leader skill. So that's Giru. And finally, we're going to talk about the B-Pad now. So, pretty easy 8 leader skill was recovers 3,333 HP per key sphere obtained of character's type. So, like, for example, if it's an STR unit, then you would have to get STR orbs. Int unit gets int orb, so on and so forth. And then super attack causes colossal damage with a chance of stunning the enemy for the 12 key. And then for the 18 key... It's Colossal Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then Passive is Recovers 33% of damage dealt as HP, high chance of reducing damage received by 55%. And Active Skill is All Allies Attack plus 33% for one turn. Now with her Extreme Z Awakening, let's see, Leader Skill recovers 5,555 HP per key sphere of character's type obtained. And then... For the 12 key super, it's Colossal Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And the uh, 18 key super is Greatly Raises Attack for one turn, causes Colossal Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. I would have preferred if this was changed to like High Chance or something like that, but it's alright I guess. And then for the passive, it's High Chance of Key Plus 3 and High Chance of Additional Key Plus 3. And then recovers 33% of HP dealt um, of damage dealt as HP, and then reduces damage received by 55%. So, as you can see, pre-EZA, eh? it was high chance of reducing damage, right? Now it's guaranteed to reduce damage by 55%, which is very important, because when she didn't get that damage reduction in the past, she was trash on defense, and, you know, a lot of people bring her to be a tank, and if she didn't tank, it was a huge liability, right? So that's going to be key, and then we have, um, you know, a lot more chance for key, so you can get that super off much easier. And uh, in terms of her active skill, it's just the same thing, you know, all allies attack plus 33% for one turn, can be activated starting from the third turn from start of battle, once only. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. b Pan's EZA looks good to me, too. She's going to be able to do a little bit more damage because she does greatly raise attack. Um, and she also has, of course, 25 super attack levels compared to 20 before the EZA. And, um, you know, better or more consistent tanking. And also, she's going to be recovering more HP too, since she is going to be doing more damage. So, uh, yeah, it looks good to me. Nothing too crazy, but definitely a solid, solid Extreme Z Awakening. And that is pretty much it, guys. There's not much else to talk about in this video. We went through all the new Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming. We went through the uh, new support item, the new events, the GT Legendary Goku event, as well as the Great Feast. Uh, Goku's Feast, whatever it's called. I forgot. Hold on. Uh, Great Feast Goku's Food Battle event. And uh, that is everything we learned. Make sure to tune into the stream tonight or early tomorrow morning, I guess, for people in my time zone. If uh, you guys want to see me try to get through the uh, new Legendary Goku event. And a big shout out again to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting these, these assets. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for all this new stuff. 
Um, obviously, once we learn about the LR Super Saiyan 4, or not LR, uh, just Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z Awakenings, I'll definitely let you guys know, you know what they do in a separate video. But for now, that's all I gotta say. You guys are awesome for watching all the way till this point. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.